Hey guys, Amber from The Vault here, back with more Until Dawn. So excited, guys. I love this game. I'm going to go ahead and get back into it. These intros, I make them way too long. Sorry about that, guys. Let's go ahead and get back into it, though. Just remember that we are trying to kill everyone, so don't hold my bad decisions against me. I'll see you guys back in just a second. I'll just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Oh, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Thing! Crap. Gotta try harder than that, hero. <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chickadee? Oh! Ah! <laughs> hey! Oh, snap! <laughs> Hello? Come on. <laughs> hey, Mike! Boom! Shaka okay. laka! Oh, you got me? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing. I know all your tricks. Sometimes. Don't tell me what to do. Oh no. Damn, Jess. What you did? I know, I know. Oh no, poor birdie, poor little tweety birdie. Stone cold, Jess. I didn't do it on purpose. Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh my god. Birderer. Michael? Oh, <laughs> gotcha! It's done! Done city! So, did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. Alright, alright. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. I usually throw a snowball at him, so I guess I'll kiss him. Wow. Save some for later, buddy. Endless reserves. Did you hear that? Uh, yes, sounds like... Whoa! Oh my god! Oh shit, I could've killed him there! That was really close. That thing was gonna kill us! Yeah, I mean... Wow, if you hadn't pulled us out of the way... Toast. Let's get out of here. Oh my god! <laughs> hey. So, did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right, all right. All right, guys. My, my. So are we Here it is. It my favor, then? Yes, so I went back. Opponent, I have Jessica to see that Snowball. icicle. You might see me reference okay, this in videos later. I'm doing dirty. this at the end. My so name. ignore the fact if I say it earlier or later in videos. So let's go ahead. Let's kiss him. Now this time, we are not going to do... My hand is off the controller. I put the controller down. Wow. Save some for later, buddy. Endless reserves. All right, here it is, guys. Our icicle death. Did you hear that? Our icicle uh, death. Yes, sounds like. <laughs> Jess, look out! Oh, oh my oh, God! Really? That was really close. <sighs> yeah. Good to know I've got a hot bod. I'll say. Bodyguard <sighs> on demand. Whoa, sexy and smart. Roll up your tongue and let's get back to the lodge, hot bod. <laughs> Alright, guys. So I couldn't kill him there. I was so hoping they'd die. Alright, if I reference later in the video that I wish I would have done the icicle thing, now you know what would have happened. No biggie. It doesn't really do too much. Damn! Hello, 
again. And how are we feeling? Hmm? In our last session, we established that you have a fear of things that are dead or undead. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, here we go. Well, men, clearly. Y'all scary. Uh, I'm not scared of planes. I don't like, I don't like lots of people. Let's see, uh, heights. I am very afraid of heights. I'm being true to myself. I'm not afraid of snakes. They don't bother me at all. I actually like snakes. Best performance in the game, guys, that analyst. Whoo! I think knives are scarier. Something about the up close and personal. Oh, yeah, I have a huge fear of cockroaches. I'm terrified of cockroaches. That's why I don't live down south. And I never will again. It's too scary. And I have a huge fear of clowns. My parents let me see it way too young. Uh, gore doesn't bother me at all. Hey. And gut deer. Oh. Doesn't scare me. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Dumping those. Thanks, Dr. Hill. You're only terrifying. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Okay. Cockroaches. 5,000%. I hate cockroaches. Uh, needles. Way more than crows. Crows ain't that scary. It's an animal. Okay, let's see. Uh, clowns. I ain't scared of zombies. Needles. Puppies don't scare me. Not even the wild ones. Come on, come on, go. There we go. Ah, storms don't scare me. In fact, I got one going right now. This is very interesting. Thank you answering so diligent <laughs> cockroaches clowns and needles <laughs> some combination sounds like a good Friday night <laughs> uh, oh, oh. well I'm afraid once again we're out of time but I promise we'll talk again very soon How we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh yeah? It feels the same to me. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. 
When are you gonna install some cell towers? If you got a spare million lying around, I, I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, oh, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey guys, get up here, okay? Yeah. Oh, well, more or less, but it's so good to see you. What's up with him? Yo, yo, we get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Let's see, let's see. Gas up! So Matt and Emily are a thing now, right? Yeah, so it seems. I mean, what's Mike think of that? I have a feeling Mike's already got his hands full, you know what I mean? Huh. Damn it! It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in, they're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get, like get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Hey, Ash. Hi, Chris. Y you doing all right? Yeah. Aside from being kind of cold and vaguely creeped out by this place. It's, it's kind of weird being back up here, huh? Yeah. So I'm trying my best to go for the most unpopular things. Because I want to make bad decisions. Usually popular means it's a good decision. Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? Uh, I guess I'll talk to him. I was going to go past. Sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that Parker right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Let's see. We'll agree. We want to be an ass. No. Absolutely. When are you going to take her to the bone zone? <laughs> like, that could ever happen. Come on, man. She practically spends her entire life with you as it is. Well, yeah, but we're like friends. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. Hello. That many people are so yeah, right. agreeing with this. Come on. Hunter, bro. No fear. No mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I got it. Jeez. I love how, like, it gives you the well, option to be a jerk. On breaking into my parents' lodge, bud. I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Koshis, or else you got four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh shoot, nobody likes cool buns. So they give you the opportunity to be an asshole, and then everyone who chose asshole went for super asshole, pretty much. Hmm. Why is there an emergency axe, anyway? Like, why is that a thing? Bob, did you get the emergency axe? Oh yeah, oh, I did, oh, Tim. Well, we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. This is why I don't understand. Why didn't he go in? It's his house. I'm okay. Should have paid more attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Whoa. Did I do that? I, I don't think so. Here, use this. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. What, what, what is it? Okay, so 
I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant gonna help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I gotcha. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye-bye frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. All right, all right. Let's look around this place. I still don't understand why he just didn't take care of it. It's his own house. Winter house, whatever, whatever. Let's go ahead and check this out. Beautiful. Beautiful. Little rats. Some of these areas, I don't know as though I've ever gotten in. I must have, because I got all the other stuff. I still remember it. So, what have we here? Oh, so I, sorry guys. I forgot. You might want to read that. Let me go ahead and get that back on. Sorry about that. Go ahead and pause if you want to read. Sorry about that, guys. Calling her a fucking whore. That is how you write an article. Okay, so nothing else in there. At some point I got all these collectibles. I just don't remember them. My guess is I was probably like rushing through trying to get the platinum. That's why you gotta be careful when you become a trophy hunter. Huh. That's cool. Oh, there's something weird about that picture to me. Door closing. Come on, Chris. All right, so we're looking for a spray can of deodorant in the dark. Whoa! Hi, Chris. Very funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be like getting the lock open or something? On it. <laughs> Why don't they just use the lighter? Apply some heat to the door. And how is that lighter staying on this long? Guys, this looks so wrong. So you can't turn on the TV? Nothing? Huh. Well, I guess not. We have no power. That would make sense. Let's see, we got something over here. Ready for senior prom! I just love how this game leaned so much into exactly what it was. Like, it knows what it is. There's no attempt to be anything but a ridiculous spooky game. I love it. I love it so much. What they have never tried to do is go downstairs at this point. I wonder... What happens if we do? Oh, it's locked off. Okay. I've always gone straight where I was supposed to. 
I never really thought about checking this out beforehand. So what we need to do is go upstairs and get that deodorant. But I know, it's kind of fun. Okay, so we can't get in the cinema. I already looked at the picture, let's go ahead and go upstairs. There are certain parts of the game where you have to see certain things. Like... You have to see it at a certain part because you're not going to get back to that area in the game or something like that. That's why I said I'm not going to do like a collectible run because quite honestly I think I had to look up a collectibles guide because I was missing like two. And it was just, it, it was so frustrating. Because I was only missing two, and it was driving me crazy, and I just could not find them, and I replayed it. I'd done all the different endings, and I just finally looked up a collectible guide. Something blinking over here. Bob Washington. Their dad's name is Bob. Okay, there's a bathroom up here somewhere. I just gotta find the bathroom. I think this is it. Is this the way to the bathroom? I can't remember. I think so. There we go. It still wow. scared me. <laughs> oh man. Perfect. We're freezing our buns off out here. Does it say it'd be hot? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> <laughs> ah, crap, that thing freaked me out. What mm. was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or a tiger or something. Oh, it was just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby? Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. Home sweet home. Sweet is not the word I use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire to go. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? N not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Make yourself at home, bro. We'll do. Yeah. Come on in. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want anyway, right? Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. Uh, let's see, let's see. Let's go for Warren. Mike, stay away from our girlfriend. Dude, what are you talking about? Stay away from Emily. Emily? Why would I want anything to do with Emily? <laughs> for being such a Dick, man. Nobody wants you here. Seriously, what's your problem, meathead? Son of a bitch! Hey, hey, get off me! Hey! What the hell is wrong with you two? We didn't come back here just to tear each other's heads off. I mean, we came back here to have a good time, right? Hey, Mike, why don't you and Jess go check out the guest cabin I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Wanna head up there? Sure. So, Josh, uh, should we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the, the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? Oh my god, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter. Well, I mean, 
She was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Well, do I... Do you? I guess not. You must have left it down by the cable car station. <sighs> Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. And then we can get warm? We can get very warm. Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching me play Until Dawn. I really, really appreciate you guys being here. And if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It means the world to me. It helps other people see the video. And it's a huge motivation to keep going, guys. I, I really, really appreciate it. All those likes, they kind of keep me going. But guys, your comments, it really does mean a lot to me when I can interact with you guys. Thank you so much. I know sometimes it takes me a few days to get back to you guys. But I do my best, and I really want to interact with you guys. I want to know what you guys like. I want to know if you guys have thoughts. Uh, obviously, with this game, don't tell me I made a lot of mistakes because that's the whole point. We're going to be playing this one through on a kill everyone basis. So I'm super excited to be playing this for you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, guys. It's the end of this segment. Trust me, there'll be more coming. But please, please, please click that picture of my big dumb face there on the screen if you'd like to subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, you can see the rest of the Until Dawn videos right over there on that playlist. Or there's another video that YouTube thinks you'd like from my channel. So thank you so much, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get out. I'll see you guys in the next one.